Usually when we meet, if you're selling your home, I'll bring Jessica to the first meeting, really because, uh, and Jess, you can back me up here, yep. moving your stuff is typically the biggest hurdle to getting a property ready for sale. Typically when we go to listing appointments, I'll bring Jess because, you know, really the biggest thing for people is, what do I do with all my stuff? And the question is, you know, how do I get started? Yeah, yeah. What, I like, I'm overwhelmed, right? I'm so yeah. stressed out by yeah. this process yeah. and all this stuff. How will this ever work? And so the first step is is knowing that it will work. I've, I've done this many times and it will get done. We have done this, we many, have done this many, many times and you, we know it gets done. And it's just a, it's a process. It's five steps and we go through it because once you know why you're doing it and how important it is, the next steps fall into place with someone supporting you and someone behind you rooting for you to make those decisions. And if you fall behind. Yep, yep. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like gonna gentle help. push, you know, <laughs> loving push because we, push. exactly, we know what the, we, we know what our end result should be. Yep. And so we want to get there. And one of the biggest questions I get is where does all the stuff that I don't keep, where does that go? Right, few options, few options. Uh, always a big fan of donation. It, it, even though you may not use it, someone can. So you can either use uh, Toronto's good old like street <laughs> curbside yeah, donation curbside system, donation, yeah. easy. Or you know you can take it to a place that accepts donations. Always call ahead. In some cases, people would like to donate to a specific. A charity, school, church, and so we coordinate that. We'll yeah. ask, you know, do your books, for instance, books is one way, you know, is there a specific bookstore you'd like to take it to? So our goal is always to donate as much as possible. Not a lot of trash. We don't have a lot of things left over, and um, and that's usually, the, that's what happens. Well, and we sell some stuff sometimes. Too. Oh, yeah, selling, yeah. but that takes a lot of time, so it you does, have to be yeah. strategic with selling. Yeah, that, that requires a, a conversation. A lot of people, especially when we first come, say, hey, we'd like to sell our stuff. You right. know, they often think it's worth more than it is. Like, right. what's, what's your experience? What do we do? Yeah. yeah, I mean, in some cases it does make sense, especially if you have a house full of items that are in demand. And again, that's always shifting. Post-COVID, we'll have to say in my experience, less people want to buy less stuff off the internet from estate sales and house sales. So. Oh. It is a big question to ask. It takes a lot of time. It's very energy draining to do an online estate sale or selling your things. So, you know, you really have to weigh the options. Is it worth it? Yeah. Does it make sense to simply like to donate it and, and allow someone else to enjoy what you had the time to enjoy before? Like yeah. it had its life with you and maybe it's okay to pass it on. So, what, so where do you recommend people store all the stuff that they have? Store the things once they've decided to move and it's not going to the new place? Yeah. Right. <laughs> it's a trick question. Not in a storage unit unless it is short term. But far too often people say, oh, I'm just going to store it for a couple months, right? And and what can happen is Five that. Exactly. And, and how many uh, hundreds, thousands of dollars later, yeah. you, your stuff is still in storage because now to go through that process is overwhelming and you've already moved so way better to do it ahead of time you go through the process invest the time and money to do it so when you move clean slate fresh start enjoy your new place and you don't have to worry about this this storage unit true statement is uh we we move stuff in, yeah. in and out of our house three or four times yeah. had a storage unit the whole time yeah and if you would have been there we would never would have done that. No. So I always try to work towards no storage unit. <laughs> Obviously, sometimes you need it for a little bit, but yeah. not as a long-term solution. Which is why they give you one or two months for free, because they know <laughs> they get you in the door, you think it's going to be free, nope. it's going to be there forever. Yeah. Yeah. So I hope you found that hugely helpful. Uh, if you're thinking about selling and or even you just want to do some home organization, shoot us an email, info at thinkto.ca, and we'll connect you to Jess as well. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thanks, Paul.